Well, it may have been the Easter international break, but it's been another busy couple of weeks for the Bluebirds, with a wide range of events taking place around the city since our last first team fixture. On Saturday the 19th, the Cardiff City Academy under-18s beat Sheffield United 1-0, with skipper Lloyd Humphrey settling the game with a sensational strike from distance. On Sunday the 20th, the Cardiff City women's team were then in action and they secured their spot in the FAW Cup final with a dramatic 3-2 victory over South Wales derby rivals Swansea City. On Monday the 21st, City striker Kenneth Zahor was the first of several players to pay a visit to local primary schools this week, helping to promote our Cardiff City soccer schools with the kids at Peterlee Primary School. On the same day, the Cardiff City development side put on a fine display to run out 4-0 winners over Crew Alexandra. City's goals come in courtesy of Robbie Patton, Theo Wharton and a Reese Healy brace. Tuesday the 22nd then saw the academy under 18s back in action and they secured a superb result away to QPR drawing 2 all despite having 7 under 15 players on the pitch. Mark Harris and Sean Spence were the men to score for the Bluebirds. Stuart O'Keefe then continued our primary school visits, fielding questions in an assembly at Lakeside Primary School, while the Cardiff City Foundation also held a disability schools festival at Uskall Hen Fellin. On Wednesday the 23rd, Joe Rowles and Lex Immers dropped into Birchgrove Primary School with Bartley in tow. The boys helped to promote the primary school ticket league with the pupils, whilst having plenty of fun including a keepy up competition. And we caught up with Joe about the visit. We're here for the school's ticket league. We're trying to encourage you know, the, younger, the younger generation of fans to come through and um, to, you know, to be bluebirds. I think we're doing a lot of schools um, over the sort of next two weeks and um, you know, they're so enthusiastic and that. And, yeah, it's been a good day. Me and Lex have answered a few questions. They seem, you know, they seem really interested. Definitely over the last couple of weeks, I think the family stands looking more full. I think there's more of a buzz around around the stadium, which is brilliant for us players. You know, um, I know obviously, like if we could get to, you know, over 20,000, you know, a week, it's a big help for us going into the playoff run. Um, and you know, it, it does start with the with the younger kids, you know, and getting them getting them into the stadium, getting them enjoying it, and eventually they'll be the ones uh, singing their hearts out, I suppose. Wednesday also saw Croeser Kiliog and King Henry FPC beat Cowbridge FPC in a football performance centre fixture. On Thursday the 24th, the Cardiff City development side made its six matches unbeaten with a solid one-all draw away from home at Charlton Athletic. Meanwhile, the Cardiff City Foundation's walking football side did superbly to win Swansea City Community Trust's inaugural walking football tournament, beating Pontypreeth 1-0 in the final. This week, Stuart O'Keefe and Peter Whittingham were in town at St David's Hall on Tuesday the 29th, promoting the 2016-2017 season tickets as they took part in our City as One game with fans. Tuesday also saw Idris Sadi and Kagisho de Cashway breaking the rules to take part in a girls-only soccer school session in the family stands at Cardiff City Stadium. After his brilliant recent performances in a City shirt, Lex Immers was deservedly shortlisted for the PFA Fans Player of the Month award on Tuesday. Head to the official Sky Sports website to place your vote. City development star Tommy O'Sullivan started for Wales under-21 in their match against Romania and Theo Wharton was also named on the bench, as Wales unfortunately lost for the first time in their UEFA under-21 championship qualifying campaign. On Wednesday, members of the Cardiff City development squad were next to pay a visit to St David's Hall, again taking part in our City as One game with several superb prizes won by City fans, including 2016-2017 season tickets. Then on Thursday the 31st, Lee Peltier and Sean Morrison were next to appear in town as they met fans, signed autographs and joined in on the fun taking place throughout the week at St David's Hall. And finally, to round off a very busy week, Lex Immers put his football boots aside on Thursday as he took on Eric Bristow in a game of darts at Cardiff's Beer Keller.